Okay, welcome to this second tutorial on uh, creating a global high score in an application. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is to, what well, I should have done in the last video actually, is to rename the uh, high score label so that I can refer to it in the uh, in the blocks. Uh, so I'm going to call that high score. Okay, done. Okay, now we need to go into the blocks and start the coding. And this is what you get from the downloaded tutorial when it appears. And it's a bit of a mess, so I like to uh, tidy things up. Uh, raise your blocks vertically, right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable to store the high score in. So I'm going to call it, no surprises here, high score. Oop, even high score and set its initial value to uh, to zero. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is go into the screen initialize block. So let's drag that out. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call the tiny data web database and retrieve it, the current high score. So we go down here to tiny web db and we do uh, where is it here down here get value. I'm going to pop that in there. And what I put in, in the tag is the name of the tag we used to create it with, which also is called high score. And that's important that it has to match the one that's in the tiny web DB. So it has to be the same as that one there. Okay, so if you've got that in there, there you're good to go. So we've got the high score on its way back from the database. So what are we going to do when we get it? Okay, well, first thing we need to do is to make sure we've got it. And if you go to tinywebdb, you'll see that there is a got value. And if we drag that out here, what we're going to do in here is that this got value um, event is triggered whenever something comes back from the web so we know we've got something so what I want to do is I want to set the high score um, variable which I've created and set it to look at the drop down list Let's see that one there set it to the value that we've got from the database and the other thing I want to do here is I want to set the text as well so that we can display it. So there's my label and I'm going to set the high score text to our global high score, which contains the value we've got back. So let's get that variables get global high score. Cool, so um, when the game starts up now, we'll see that we have the high score. So let's go ahead and make sure it works. It's always a good idea to test your code as you go along rather than wait to the end and try and fix bugs that are all over the place. And obviously, and sometimes they even interrelate with each other. So um, I'll start the emulator off and see you shortly. And here we go. Um, I'm not happy about the lack of a gap between there and there, so I'll fix that in a minute. But anyway, you can see that the, the world best scores come back and that was the score that we stored originally in the uh, uh, Inventor default database. Cool. So far, so good. And let's just check that score's working. Yeah, cool, great. Okay, obviously nothing's gonna happen when we beat the high score because we haven't tested it yet. But you can see that the world best is still six and the score's still 11. Uh, and that's clearly not good enough, so we'll uh, have a go at fixing that in a minute. The other thing that's wrong with this game, which doesn't make it very playable, is the fact that the timer goes on forever, so you can continually play this all night long and all day and all night long and all day, and really it uh, defeats the object of getting a high score, so we'll put a time limit on it as well at some point, so that you know we can see how many clicks we get done in 60 seconds. So what we want to do now is to check um, when the mole is touched and when he is touched, so I'll take that block out here. When he is touched, we want to, uh, so that we can then check the high score. A couple of things wrong here at the moment with this block. Um, first of all, the, the score value label dot text 
is being incremented by one. Now, anybody who knows their computer science will know that mixing strings and integers and mathematical operations isn't a good thing to do together. So, and also, because I want to do a comparison between the high score and the global high score, it's best if I try and use the same data types. So I've got the high score set as an integer, and I'm going to do the same for the local score as well. So I'm going to change this slightly. I'm going to uh, take that block out of there for now, and I'm going to change it. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a variable called score and set that to zero. So I'm going to move on here, set that to zero. OK. And then in this block here, I'm going to set it, the score variable to itself plus one. So instead of having that text block in there, I'm going to get the score. And I'm going to set the variable I just created the score to itself plus one. Or in the case they've done it, one plus itself, which is not the way I'm used to seeing it. Actually, I'm going to change it because I don't like it that way around. That's the better way of doing it. C++. OK, so that's that done. It's set there. And the next thing we need to do is to set the score value label text to our current score. OK, so that should come up now with uh, the same thing, but we now have the score as a number rather than just playing around with text. The next thing we need to do is every time we touch this mole, we want to just check our score against the global high score. And to do that, we need to call the database again and uh, get a value. So I've touched it. I'm going to check the tag. Um, from the, which is the same as the one I had in the initialize. So that one there. So the one that's in the database. Okay, and then what we need to do is to check and see if our score here is greater than the one that comes back from the database. And to do that, we need an if statement now. And we need to do the, the check, so to see if our score is greater than the one from the database. Oops, my one, sorry. To greater than or equal to, oops, score greater than or equal to the database value. And if it is, then we want to set the global high score to the current score. And the next thing we need to do is store that in the database. So let's put that away into the database with a store value. So store value tag is the uh, high score. Again, I'll duplicate that. And you can guess what the value to store is going to be. It's going to be our global high score. The next thing we're going to need to do is to put an else on this block and pop these two in here. OK, so what we need to do is to, every so often we're going to need to check this high score. And at the moment, I've got the high score set for when the mole is touched. Now, there are two options here. There's this one. Or I can also check the, the value when the timer goes off. And I can have put the this get value tag in either of these blocks. I don't think this one is the most efficient block to put it in because people will be clicking the, mat, the, the, the mole like crazy. And every time you click it, you're going to get a call to the internet, which is a slow process and it has latency built into it. It's... Uh, going to slow the program down. So for I think for efficiency's sake, I'm only going to call the high score 
every second or whenever the timer goes off, which I think is set for a second on this game, rather than there. I think that's going to be a better option. And because this is a multi-user game, you're going to have lots and lots of people potentially playing it at the same time, hopefully. Uh, and they're all going to be touching like crazy, so they're all going to be making calls on this database. Um, we want to try and reduce that as much as we can, the load on the, on the, on the database and getting values back, because it will slow the game down, potentially anyway. So in the next tutorials, I'm going to show you how to set the timer for 60 seconds and also how to make the program much more efficient than it currently is. So stay tuned for those. Bye.